I don't kill the bugs that I see in my room. If I see like a stink bug or an ant or something of the sort, I, I can't kill it. Sometimes I even go as far as to name the bugs that are in my room. So like one of the last spiders, I think his name was Victor and I saw him in my room for like three days and I just, you know, let him crawl around there. He had his own space and I had my own space. We didn't bother each other, so it was fine. He didn't try to kill me, I didn't try to kill him. And then after about three days, he left, you know, wherever he went to, he probably went to a better place. Hey y'all, welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl Lolo. And today I'm gonna be talking about interesting and unusual facts about myself. I think this would give a lot of people a hoot just because these are some things that nobody would know. Like no, nobody would know, most of them, no, nobody would know. Nobody would ever know. These are like, you know, some of my deepest, darkest secrets about myself. But hey, look, the secrets is coming out today because it's it makes it makes it look a little bit more personable when I kind of like open up about, you know, my private life or things that I used to do when I was a kid or things that I still do that are kind of embarrassing. But hey, what is embarrassment? You know, embarrassment is a choice. It used to sing earrings because this is like my new thing. I've been wearing like dangly earrings a lot lately because I'm turning 24 this month and dangly earrings make me feel grown. And so the first interesting fact about me is that I always have a song in my head. I'm pretty musically inclined. So um, by the way, if, if, if anybody doesn't know, if you've heard my intro music before, you have heard me sing because my intro music has my voice in it. I can sing pretty well. I'm very musically inclined. I actually went to college on a scholarship to sing professionally in the university choir. So yeah, I sang professionally for four years and so I still got some skills. I actually have a song with my dad. We recorded a song in the studio and it's out on Apple Music and it's out on um, on Spotify. So go ahead and listen to it. It's like, you have my heart from the start. Always that is little girl. I'll tell it to the world. You have my heart, have my heart. I'm the start, from the start, from the start. Yeah, so that's the song. At any given time, you can ask me, you know, what song is on my head, and then I'll tell you what, what song is on my head because I always got a song in here, even if I'm doing something else. One time I was humming during a movie. Like we were in the theaters and I was humming a song that was in my head and simultaneously watching the movie in theaters and my mom turned to me and said, why are you humming during a movie? Yeah. The next interesting kind of, I guess, weird thing about me is that I am obsessed with putting Vaseline on my lips. Um, since I was probably in elementary school, I cannot stand when my lips feel dry. Now I know that you know lips get dry sometimes that's just what happens um i personally if if i don't have lip like some type of lip balm some type of something vaseline is usually my go-to but some type of something to put on my lips and i forget my vaseline at home my whole day is ruined um so even though i'm constantly putting vaseline on my lips i, pro I probably say i probably reapply vaseline probably up to 20 or 30 times a day. I'm just obsessed with Vaseline on my lips. I always use like this lip therapy um, Vaseline, if you can see that. And I like this one because it gives you rosy lips. It says for soft pink lips. And I like my lips to be soft and I like them to be pink. I will literally carry this around with me everywhere that I go and I'm obsessed with putting Vaseline on my lips. All the time. The third interesting fact about me is that I have such good core strength that I can literally hold a plank for three minutes. Over three minutes. Do you know what a plank is? It's when you're like 
you know in a push-up position but basically on your forearms yeah so i had this one friend in college he thought he could hold a plank longer than me just because he was a man and i'm a woman but um yeah i showed him that day so yeah i mean i, I was a cheerleader when i was younger that probably had something to do with it or just the fact that i'm competitive and i like to push my body and i'm really physically active as well so i also have really good balance so yeah, don't ask me to have a competition to see who can hold their plank the longest because I will win. I will win. The fourth interesting thing and kind of weird thing about me is that um, when I was younger, I used to tell people that my favorite food was broccoli because it is broccoli. I love broccoli in all forms. I love grilled broccoli i love baked broccoli i love sauteed broccoli i love steamed broccoli and i even like fried broccoli i would prefer it not to be fried because it's broccoli but um yeah when i was a child i was allergic to a lot of things including milk you know uh seafood still allergic to seafood nuts and also bread so i think that i you know ate a lot of fruits and veggies because there wasn't much else for me to eat and so I thought broccoli was like one of the best things ever because I always ate it. And when I was younger, I used to, you know, take my broccoli that I had and because it was dry, I needed something to dip it into. I couldn't eat dressing because I couldn't drink milk. So I used to dip my broccoli in water and then eat it. Now, I'm not talking about like steamed broccoli or, you know, the sauteed broccoli, you know, the various broccolis that I eat and I cook it. I'm talking about, no, you go to the grocery store and then you get that, you know, stock stalk of broccoli that you have to put in a plastic bag and then you take it home and then you wash it and then you, you know, you cut the broccoli off of it and then you don't cook it. You just eat it raw. Like I'm talking about those those vegetable platters with the broccoli and the and the carrots and the cucumbers that's not cooked it's just raw vegetables yeah i dipped my broccoli in water and ate it and i thought that was like my dip like i'm like water is the best thing other than broccoli so broccoli i think is still one of my favorite foods but it's like a side entree so i don't really tell people that yeah well, broccoli is one of my favorite foods because that's boring. The fifth kind of interesting fact about me is that I met Steve Harvey when I was 16 years old. Um, here's a picture of me with Steve Harvey at a entrepreneurs conference and yeah i was 16 years old i did have purple hair and i just you know took a picture with him because i was backstage and my dad was working uh, my dad and my uncle was working at the conference as steve harvey's bodyguard i get opportunities that other people might not get and i have a superstar entrepreneur um aunt who has a lot of connections and so my aunt worked with steve harvey on a couple of conferences where they would tour together and they would go state to state together uh, mostly in atlanta but i got a chance to go to uh, one or two conferences and i also was working behind the scenes so i was working backstage and i was helping sell some of their uh, products like their t-shirts and stuff like that at a conference and so you know steve harvey walked by and then you know i just got the opportunity to walk with him and then you know take a picture with him so yeah, I seized that opportunity and I'm grateful for it. But I will say that, you know, celebrities have, you know, a persona that they uphold on the TV screen because they kind of have to. That's what makes their money. All celebrities aren't the nicest in person. Um, I would say Steve Harvey was nice to me, but, you know, there are a lot of celebrities that are kind of like glamorized as, as one person, you know, but celebrities kind of have to be mean in some aspects because you know let, let's be fa let's face it like fans are crazy i've seen some crazy things working behind the scenes at some of my aunt's conferences she worked with other people like jillian michaels and people like that so um 
I have seen celebrities before and met them in real life and um, yeah it's cool when you when they're not your you know your number one idol but don't idolize people don't do that it's not cool interesting fact about me number six I drink my water out of mason jars here's my water a lot of people think that I am drinking white lightning which is moonshine but I'm not Water is pretty much the only thing that I drink and I just like to drink it out of mason jars. I don't know, cause like, this looks so cool, right? And I bought these tops for my mason jars too. Um, yeah, I don't really like cups. Water bottles are cool too, but mason jars are just nice and clean and elegant. If you are just either wanting mentorship because you feel like you're lost with no direction in life, if you are having um, anxiety, if you are having fear of the future, or if you are simply just stressed out and need relief now, then I can help you. My three month program is called Redesign Your Mind and it's particularly for people who feel like they are lonely, they may not fit in, other people don't get it, and they need accountability towards their mindfulness journey. This is great for people who are beginner meditators or you've never meditated before, you, you don't have a mindfulness practice, but you're ready to start prioritizing your mental health now. Now, if you are serious about starting a mindfulness journey, I am the person that you need to speak to. In this three month program, we will go over specific skills such as how to gain emotional intelligence how to be more resilient so that when stressful situations arise you can approach them with more creativity and less stress how to have mindful conversations how to organize your thoughts and get more focused so that creativity can flow and you can thrive in your work environment instead of just surviving the sign up to be in this program is only for a limited time only two weeks left until the signups close and I only have five spots left spots are filling up fast so go ahead and go to the link down in my description box below because I really want to help you all who really want to take action now on your mental health and if that's you go ahead and book your free discovery call and I look forward to speaking with you soon interesting slash weird fact number nine about me I make eye contact really well now when people are talking to me I make eye contact so well that I make an effort to look away from people's gaze because I don't want to weird them out I have no problem making eye contact with people so I feel like sometimes I get to staring at people it's a natural thing or a natural leadership trait or role that I didn't really ever try to be or ask for but it's the it's the confidence eye contact is a huge confidence thing and if you're comfortable I guess spiritually or mature spiritually then you can look at people in the eyes because you realize that eyes are the windows to the soul but don't like stare at people but like look people in the eyes it's it's more it's a lot more powerful than you think if i'm being honest all right weird slash interesting thing about me number nine um i don't kill the bugs that i see in my room if i see like a stink bug or an ant or something of the sort i i can't kill it i just i don't have it in me anymore to to you know kill a spider just because it found its way into my room what i will do is I'll try to slide a piece of paper underneath the bug or the stink bug or whatever because stink bugs they, they just be chilling honestly and then they die like six hours later and they're like lying on their backs but anyways whatever bug that it is I just try to like slide a piece of paper under it you know slide it outside or put it in the trash can but um sometimes I even go as far as to name the bugs that are in my room so like one of the last spiders I think his name was Victor and I saw him in my room for like three days and I just you know let him crawl around there he had his own space and I had my own space we didn't bother each other so it was fine he didn't try to kill me I didn't try to kill him and then after about three days he left you know wherever he went to he probably went to a better place. And then number 10, the 10th weird thing about me, and this is kind of weird, is that I like earlobes. Yeah, I like to touch people's earlobes. So uh, when I was a child, if you were to pick me up, and I was like a baby, an infant or whatever, before I could even talk, when I was still, you know, sucking my fingers, I would, like, if you picked me up, I would take these two fingers, 
catch your earlobe in between my two fingers and then start massaging that joint like just massaging the heck out of your earlobes and I don't know if it's like because of it's like the soft skin on the earlobe there's nothing like an earlobe on the whole entire body it's literally like it's just like a little flap um and I think that earlobes are really fun I don't know what it is about me and earlobes but I like them so yeah those are the 10 kind of weird things about me now if you want to see uh part two of this video um for, first of all if you enjoyed part one just thumbs this video up part two will be on my patreon and i will share 10 more weird or interesting or whatever facts about me that you may not have guessed about me um in my patreon so the link is always in my description go um subscribe to the patreon i have a lower tier for only seven dollars a month and a higher tier for 22 a month so go and look and see what fits you best you will always um you will also sorry get a um a personalized call from me just to say hey thank you for your support thanks for joining and then there's exclusive videos on there that you will not see on youtube that are a little bit more intimate in depth into my life so go ahead and watch that and until next time i'm sending peace your way love your way enjoy to you your family and your friends all right y'all peace